If you are learning Chinese Mandarin and you have never heard of Anki, this video is literally gonna help you save hundreds of hours. In this video, I'm going to show you all of my experience I gained from seven years of using Anki flashcard tool. Let's go. Okay, but before we start, let's talk about what Anki actually is. Well, Anki is an open source digital flashcard software, which helps you to memorize stuff. It was designed in the 80s and it's really not top-edge technology, but it's free and that's why it's awesome. Anki is based on a principle called spaced repetition. Well, spaced repetition basically means that Anki gonna show up all those vocabulary you don't know so well quite often and all the vocabulary you know very well more rarely. And therefore, you're not gonna waste your time on reviewing vocabulary you already studied. That's why Anki is pretty efficient. All right, but why should you actually use Anki as a flashcard system instead of those traditional ones? Well, that's a couple of reasons. Although the traditional flashcards have a lot of advantages, for example, writing down something by hand makes you memorize the information way more easily, and also you always have them around physically without any internet connection or without any device. There are also a lot of downsides. Anki can replace those downsides really efficiently. So, I think a really good reason is that you always have them available. So it doesn't matter if you're sitting on the toilet or in the subway on your way to work or anywhere else, you can have Anki, even without internet, on your phone. Second of all, it's really easy to structure your knowledge because you can put different decks, you can always rearrange them. That's really comfortable because after you have 500 flashcards or more, it's gonna get messy, especially with the physical flashcards. So finally, and the most important reason, it is efficient. For people like you and me, and nowadays, it's always good to save time. And you can save a lot of time when you're studying with Anki flashcards in Chinese. When I type in a Chinese vocabulary, I basically type in the Hansel, then I press tab, and I have the entire flashcard completed within a second. So it might not take more than five seconds to create a single flashcard, which is really, really fast. I'm gonna show you how this works in a second. But first, let's take a look at the software and install it on your computer. Okay, so in case you never used Anki before, you should go and download the program for your Mac or PC as well as the app for your smartphone. I pasted all of the links down below in the description. Unfortunately, iPhone users have to pay about 25 bucks to download the app, while Android users just get it for free. Don't ask me why, I also don't know any other app that makes such a huge price difference based on your operating system, but Anki already had this pricing strategy when I first started using it in 2015. Well, but in order to synchronize all of those flashcards on all your devices, um, you need an account, which brings you to this page. I also linked that down in the description. So you gotta sign up here. Okay. So that's where you are right now in your account logged in. Um, we see you got like zero decks, but we're gonna create them now. But first we're gonna go to the app. Well, I got my existing account here already with all my decks. You can see those are the different courses I had at university. But we're gonna go to file and switch profile. All right, now we are on our default page, but in order to synchronize the entire uh, flashcard selection, you gotta click on sync, which ask for your Anki web ID, which should be your email. All right, so you just click in, log in. Okay, so now we just go ahead and click on create deck and we just call it colors because we assume we want to learn Chinese colors. All right, so here comes the magic. Um, since we're learning Chinese, we don't just want to remember like our language and the Chinese language word. Um, it's a little bit more complex than that, since we want to learn the character, maybe the stroke order, we want to remember the tone it has, as well as the pinion. So, if you have like a two-sided flashcard, that might just not be enough. And this is where Anki shows its strengths. Anki is an open source application, so anyone who creates, let's say, their own card type, a design layout, or a deck, can share it with the Anki community. You got subreddits full of content, but I just want to show you one special add-on which is going to make your life significantly easier. So we switch again to um, 
the Anki web page, but this time we are on the community hub where someone shared their add-on called Chinese Support Redux. So I linked that as well in the description. You basically just have to go on this page, scroll down, copy this link and open your Anki. Here you go on tools, add-ons, you click get add-on and you insert the code. It will now download the add-on and after relaunching the Anki program, it is installed. All right, so I just restarted Anki and now we can go and add an Anki, an Anki card. So what you see here is like the basic overview for creating a deck. You can also make that bigger if you want. Um, here you got the card type. So usually you only got those types on the top here. But now we also got Chinese Advanced and Basic as part of our add-on. And when it comes to deck, we go on colors. We will make sure our card lands at the right place. All right, we selected our type and we selected our deck here, which is perfect. I think we're ready to go now. We toggled Hansel, so right now we can just go ahead and type the first word. Let's say we want to learn Lüse, green and Chinese. But instead of filling all those fields here, I'm just going to hit tab and have auto completed all of them. So you can see I got the pinion, I got the bukumofo uh, with the pinion. Um, you even got the traditional Taiwanese uh, style and uh, the sound which is like directly uh, extracted from Google. So that's gonna make everything so much easier. So you just go on and add that to your deck and you can just go ahead and type in like a lot of other country, uh, a lot of other colors. For example, we got Changsu orange, we got Huangsu, we got uh, maybe Hongsu. All right, so this should be enough for our purpose. So right now we click here on colors, study now. If we press space, it's gonna show the result. It's Lüse. So I can press one for again, two for hard, three for good, and four for easy. So let's say this was good. And here we see Chengsi, orange. Here we got Hongsi, and Huangsi. Yeah, and that's how it works. And you have this same card deck also synchronized on your phone. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. This is actually my second video I upload on this channel. My last one has been already two years ago, I think. Um, but since there have actually been people watching it, uh, I was motivated to do another one. It's quite late, but I did it. And yeah, if you're interested in any more Enki content or Chinese content, just let me know in the comments and I'm happy to do with it. That's it for today. Thank you. Bye.